Oh, man. Well, guys, this is the first series of my mini review series. So every video can't have a full length feature introduction skits with running scenes. No, no. Not every shoe needs that. Sometimes I want to go back to the old Jamie and just sit down and talk to you guys. So today, we got the Hoka Kavu. Kavu? Kavu? I don't know how you say it, but let's just give a quick overview of the shoe. So this is part of Hoka's new fly line. And from what I understand, it's like their new, lighter, more responsive cushioning. I mean, every brand is doing that right now. This is our new cushioning. It's, this is better. Okay, so this is their better cushioning. So I'm like, yeah, I'm cool with it. Let's give it a try. So let's just go from the upper down. The upper is pretty basic. I mean, we got the mesh. We got some minimal overlays. I mean, the, the shoe does look a little more slick as far as like stuff going on. And this is the all black, so it doesn't get any more slick than that. The upper is all right. Like I have no problem with the upper. It's pretty basic, but basic for me is good. So I'm okay with this. And you got a little padding in the tongue, a little bit in the heel. So it, the shoe does fit kind of, I guess, nimble, I would say. It doesn't feel like ultra plush around the shoe, which I'm okay with. I kind of like that. And the heel cup is pretty narrow. It wasn't bad, but uncomfortable after a while. It was like, it was trying to be too secure, if that makes any sense. Like it was almost like too rigid for me. But like I said, the overall up wasn't bad. The lacing's fine. The materials are breathable. It's, it's all good, it's all good. So the midsole using their ProFly midsole, I'm not even sure if that's the, the entire midsole, if it's just this layer here, if it's, I don't even know, Hoka doesn't even tell you where it is, but whatever. How does it feel? That's what I care about. And I'll be honest, this is where I just had struggles with it. It was kind of underwhelming, flat. I didn't feel any energy return. I didn't even feel that plushness. And for me, this is my issue with this shoe, right? If I'm gonna wear a Hoka, like, I'm already taking the L that it's a Hoka. Like, it's not a good looking shoe. Right? Like, it's already bulky looking. It's already got that orthopedic looking thing going on. Like, it's not a great looking shoe. This is a, one of the better looking models, but overall, Hoka's not a good looking brand. So if I'm gonna look like this, I wanna at least feel good about it. This feels very flat to me. Like, when I'm running in it, it feels like it wasn't in like that cush plushness. It was, I didn't get any of that or not very much of it, but it also wasn't really responsive. I feel like, okay, it's a fast shoe. No, it just felt like it was in the middle of no man's land. And it just wasn't there. Um, I don't think this shoe has that rocker feel thing going on, which I didn't really care for that anyway. Like if it's there, cool, but if it's not, so I didn't really get that feel. And then the outsoles, I mean, it got, the outsoles are hokey outsoles. It's a little bit of rubber in the bottom. You got mostly, the midfoot's exposed. Keep the shoe light. The shoe is light. I will give it that. The shoe is light. But overall, I just couldn't get jiggy with it, man. Like, it wasn't, it didn't do anything for me. Like, it was frustrating because I was really excited. Like, in my mind, this was going to be the return of the Clifton 1. Now, I know that's a reach. I know that's a reach. But I had, I had hopes and dreams, too, guys. I would say this shoe kind of reminds me of the Hoka Hupata. In the sense that it's a little bit lower profile, I guess. I mean, you got the... But to me, the Hupata looks better. And honestly, it doesn't feel that much different. I mean, I mean, for one thing, the Hupata has a pull tag. I mean, that alone makes it better. I guess the upper on this one's a little more soft. I mean, the knit, it's not really a knit on these shoes. Like, I don't know why they call it a knit anyway. Hoka, why do you call it a knit if it's not really a knit? It's more like a... Like a knit should not make the sound. Like, it's not a knit. I, I'll show you a knit. To me, this is a knit. Hear that? Anyway, back to this shoe. Overall, I'm just, I'm very underwhelmed. Hoka, I just, I'm, I'm trying to like you, Hoka. Like, I'm trying to make it work out. You and I are like this, like, we're like in a relationship from like years ago, and we had great times back in the day, but right now, we just, we can't figure it out. Like, I can't tell if I should just move on. I can't tell if you're cheating on me with somebody else, and it's just, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm growing out of love with you. I mean, I've been chilling with the Nike React. I've been with the Ultra Boost. I've been, you know, I've been seeing other people and I thought this would be our time to make it work, but it's just not. You know, people say, try the Nepali, try the Nepali. And maybe I will, maybe I'll try the Nepali, but 
to me, that shoe still looks kind of ugly. I know looks doesn't matter, but you know, if I'm gonna get an ugly shoe, I want it to feel good. I want, I want the Clifton One back. That's all I want, Hoka. Hoka, can we hashtag bring back the Clifton One? Give me a Clifton One Point Five. Can I have that? Like I said, this shoe, this shoe isn't horrible. It was just so underwhelming. Someone says, "Oh, these shoes are meant to be worn around like casual shoes." Huh? <laughs> what? If you wear these as casual shoes, I. Anyway, that's kind of my, I want to say, I won't call it a review. It's just my, my thoughts on the shoe. Like, I've had this shoe for, I think, just about a month now. I got it, like, a week early. And, yeah, that's the sad thing. I got it a week early thinking, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get it early. I'm going to wear the shoe. And then when it comes out officially, the review's going to be up. It's going to be fire. I'm going to have, like, slow motion scenes of everything going on. And I was just like, I couldn't bring myself to review it. So yeah, that's it. This is a, uh, this is the first series. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I, just, I just don't feel it. I don't. I just don't feel it. You know, if you guys like the shoe, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Um, subscribe to the channel. We got tons of reviews coming up. We got the documentary coming up. We got a lot of nonsense in the channel. So, and we're going to 10,000 subscribers. We're so, we're almost there. We're almost there. Like we're like 500 away. You know, very very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. So. Yeah, that's it for the Hoka Kabu Kabu. I really want to like this shoe. It's just, it's just not for me. And that's okay. That's okay. There'll be more. There'll be more Hokas in the sea. All right, guys. I will see you guys in the next one.